Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing the video that so many of you guys have been uh, asking me to do. It's been the sort of long awaited video and that is of course the predictions video for the League One season uh, coming up. Now of course this is going to be mainly Sunderland based. I'm going to be speaking quite a bit about Sunderland. So if you are a supporter or a fan of another club then you, you, you know, you're more than welcome to stay to see if uh, one of your teams or if your team is selected but I am going to be doing just the top six and the relegation spots as well in this video I'm not going to be doing the whole league table like I did last year because I find it to be quite tedious and a bit sort of like filler because as soon as you get to a certain point in the season you know you kind of get to know who the mid-table teams are going to be and it, it can just get a bit boring and tedious like I say so I'm going to cover the top six and the relegation spots now I am aware that this is quite premature uh, as well, I did want to kind of leave it as close as humanly possible to the beginning of the season, but I thought I may as well do it now because it looks like Sunderland's frigging transfer business is it, it's just slowing down uh, horrendously. And I, th I do think this is what my point was going to be before we get into this is I think with the squad we've got now, uh, I don't think it's good enough. I still think we need three or four signings uh, for Sunderland. We need a left back, uh, a centre back. Uh, I believe we need a striker and also a creative midfielder or a, a midfielder with a bit of pace down the centre, um, which we obviously don't have, <laughs> particularly pace in general, we don't have in this squad. Uh, it is rumoured that that, um, that centre-back, uh, Jamali, um, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, I've seen some people call him like Jomadji and stuff like that, but he's reportedly very close to signing, or is at least in talks. Danny Graham is, of course, as well, been reported to be training with us. Um, now, I've made my opinion known Danny Graham. Of course, if he comes, I will support him. I've, I do with every player, you know, give him a chance. He might prove me wrong, but I just don't believe that he is the mould of player that we need. We need someone with pace throughout the squad, really, not just Danny Graham or in the striking department in general. But I still think we're quite a bit off right now. Uh, but I will be basing this on the squad that Sunderland have right now. So, first and foremost, we shall do... I'll tell you what, we'll do the relegation spots first. The more exciting stuff. Uh, we'll do the relegation spots. Now... I do believe that um, bottom of the league will be Northampton. Just coming up, I do believe, after looking through their squad, I don't know whether the strength in depth is going to be there to compete with this league. As much as, of course, I, I don't wish relegation on any of the teams I'm going to mention, it's just what I think may or may not happen. They are one of the favourites to go down as well, which, of course, doesn't mean too much. You know, As a betting man, you know... It doesn't always go your way. You've got half the time it doesn't. Uh, but I don't think Northampton will be quite strong enough um, to stay in the league. So I do believe that they will go down and potentially being 24th bottom of the league. Now, 23rd in the relegation zone, I believe it will be AFC Wimbledon. Now, again, Wimbledon, when we have played them, um, I actually have been relatively impressed a couple of times with them. But it's more been their physical side to the game. They are very physical. Uh, they're very driven. And uh, you know they'll always chase you down and make it really difficult um, uh, to work the way around you, uh, to work your way around them, should I say? Because they really get in your face and they do try the high press. But I think technically is where they fall short. Technically they don't have the best of squads, um, but they, they definitely can squeeze out results. They do. They are capable of squeezing out results because of their physicality and what have you. But you can't just rely solely on physicality. Um, and I think that that's what they have been doing. And I think eventually they will get caught out. And uh, I do believe they will go down this year, unfortunately for them. I have a massive amount of respect for that club, but unfortunately I do believe they are going to go down in 23rd place. Now, 22nd is Rochdale. Now, Rochdale are actually favourites to go down um, bottom of the league, but I do believe they have enough about them to not exactly sit bottom of the league. But I do also believe I don't think they're strong enough to out and out just stay up. I don't think they are strong enough for that, unfortunately, against another club we have respect for. But um, I just don't think they're strong enough. Now in 21st, clinching, oh, I say clinching, it's a bit um, bit bad point that way, but clinching that last and final uh, relegation spot, I have a feeling that Wigan will go down. I know that they have only just been relegated, but they've gone through all this turmoil with the ownership, which I really do feel for them. And the EFL should be absolutely ashamed, as, as well as the owners that are currently there at the minute, if you can call them owners. Um, but they currently have a, a, a shoestring squad. They have next to no players there. Um, it's it's an empty squad, best players have left, or at least players showing any kind of potential have left, and it, it's looking really, really bad for Wigan, and I hope to God that um, that situation is sorted ASAP, because it's they're looking like another Bury right now, 
um, because they really are in dire straits and I hope to God that they sort it out and I think if they do sort it out I believe that they do have enough attraction for that club to bring in some quality players to keep them up but as of right now it is looking really really dark for them because it is dark times uh, so I do believe that they will eventually go down I think it'll end up being another Bolton or another Bury of course of course they kind of went out of out of league in it, it, totally but uh, Bolton of course they struggled and they went down last season I think Wigan will find that to be exactly the same um, but yeah, I think Wigan will go down if things remain the same, unfortunately. But again, best of luck to Wigan. I hope you do manage to sort out your issues at the minute because it is terrible to watch. From any football fan, you don't want to see any football club um, be treated the way it is. I mean, Sunderland in the past, and as of right now, we, we get treated like shit. But it, it's just another level uh, with Wigan right now. So my heart does go out to them. But moving on with the video, we are going to go into the top six now. The ones that you guys have been waiting for. I don't know whether to work it out from the front. To the top. All right, okay, I might work work my way up from sixth. So for sixth, now there's probably a good four teams that could easily go for the sixth place. But believe it or not, I'm going to go with Sunderland as of right now um, to go in sixth, which might shock you. But and that's me being, I think, me being optimistic as well because I just believe that I think this squad is capable of grinding out results. I think we will have a purple patch, but I think we'll easily go through those really bad patches where we'll lose a string of games and shit will hit the fan, particularly with the fans themselves. But I think the squad is capable of pulling out a few results. Um, we did it last year with a very similar squad. Um, and I think we, we will have enough in our tank to scrape a playoff place, which isn't my aim. I would like to see us win the league, of course, or at least at minimum get... Um, a promotion spot, but with the place, uh, or sorry, with the, with the squad that we've got now, I, I don't believe it is good enough to get into the top two. But like I said, there are a few teams that I do believe will be contending for us, and it literally is, um, you know, look at the draw. I think Oxford, Ipswich, and Fleetwood will all be contending for playoff places, but I think, you know, out of those four, I think I've got a feeling that it's just going to be those four kind of fighting for that final spot because I think there is going to be quite a big jump up to the top five. That's just my personal opinion. I think there is going to be quite a jump currently anyway again with the squads that everyone has right now uh, so in fifth place I've gone for Hull um, again I know um, they do have a very strong squad one of the strongest squads in the league but in saying that they have lost a few players but they brought some equally good players back in uh, but as we know ourselves it's very very hard to stabilise coming down from the championship and I think it will hit them and it will be a bit of a sort of culture shock coming down to League One because the, the shift in the way games are played and the way uh, teams play and carry themselves in this league it's a lot different uh, the quality and the, the strategies in this league is so much different to the championship so I think it could be a bit of a shock to the system and uh, I, th I think eventually they, they will they will get it they, they will um, pull strings together and they will uh, quite simply and easily get into uh, the playoff places so I've gone for Hull with fifth now fourth I've gone with Charlton because with Charlton I think they've obviously they've only just recently gone up uh, via the playoffs um, in horrible circumstances for us of course and it brings a tear to me I just think about it every time uh, but they've only recently gone up through the playoffs they do have a strong squad they have some very decent players they have the experience there so um, I do think that Charlton will find themselves in a playoff place as well in fourth now with third I have gone for Portsmouth although Portsmouth kind of veered off towards the end of last season a little bit um, I, I believe again it's another, another squad that it is more than capable of even challenging for the top two. They've got a lot of pace and technical plays in that squad, and they have a really good disciplined back line, most of the time anyway. Um, so I, I do believe that um, Portsmouth will find themselves in third place. Now for the top two. Um, I'll, of course, start with second. Um, now, of course, I did mention earlier that I do believe there's going to be a few teams um, battling for sixth, uh, with being obviously Sunderland, Oxford, Ipswich, Fleetwood as well. Now, I've literally just changed my mind. I've literally just done a little reshuffle myself. I've just come away from the camera and thought, no, actually. And I've literally changed my mind about something last minute uh, and reshuffled things a little bit uh, within the top two. Now, second place, I think... I think Oxford are going to be in second. I, I, did, I, I had to reshuffle throughout the top six there because originally I did have Hull down as second, but I've changed my mind and I've gone for Oxford. I think Oxford last year, they were really, 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 really impressive, should I say. Um, they, they've got some great technical plays within their side. They've got a really good, close-knit side there. And I do believe that they're more than good enough to get into that top two. It'll be a struggle for them, I do believe. But like I said, I've just changed my mind last minute after really thinking about it. I come away from the camera for a second. And uh, yeah, I, I think Oxford are going to do it. I, 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 think, I think they are good, or at least they're going to challenge. 
Uh, so I'm going to put Oxford in second place. Now that leaves one team and one team only to sit top of the lot. And you've probably guessed it by now because I haven't mentioned them so far in this video. And that is Peterborough. Now Peterborough for me, I just think they're a, they're a very, very solid side. It's just how inconsistent their form can be. But when they are on form, they blow this league apart. Um, I've seen them at times that they've done it to us. They've battered us at times. And they bring in, you know, they bring in really good players. You know, they, they let go of a couple of star players and they bring in some really good players. They've just brought in Clark Harris as well. Very, very good striker for this league. And, I, you know, I, th I think they're going to do it. I think this year will be their year. Um, hopefully not, and Sunderland are there, of course. But I believe that they have, again, it's another team that have more than enough quality. And any team throughout the sort of top four or five, I think could easily slot into the top two. So it has been really, really difficult because it is going to be a really challenging season and a challenging league this year. But I think Peterborough just have a really, really good squad. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so that's everything, guys. My top six is Peterborough, Hull, or oh, sorry, Peterborough, Oxford. I forgot to change that. Peterborough, Oxford, Portsmouth, Charlton, Hull, and Sunderland. Now, the bottom four, we have Wigan, Rochdale, Wimbledon, and Northampton. And again, it's been really difficult. I've been sat here before this video for like half an hour to an hour just writing down what I think and then scribbling it out and changing it. And I just, so I just changed it again last second. And it just shows what a competitive league this is. Um, but like I said, I think if Sunderland do recruit properly and they do get the three or four players that I did mention, or not specific players, but the kind of players I did mention, I don't see why we couldn't maybe challenge for the top two. I, I would like to think we would. But again, right now, I'm just not particularly confident in this squad. I don't believe it's strong enough. But we shall see. I think if, if we maybe give chances to the likes of Jack Diamond and, uh, and Neil and um, try different things. Embleton, when he's fit as well, he can give us a great outlet in the final third. And of course, if Embleton stays fit, you never know. It could push us up a bit further. But uh, like I say, I don't have a massive amount of faith in the squad we have right now. But there we go anyway, guys. What do you think about my predictions? And of course, give me your predictions down below in the comments. It's always interesting to read. What's your top six? What's your bottom four? Let me know again down below in the comments. But if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammed.